Okay, boys, whose video do we react to for first, though? Milo's video? Hi, guys. Mr. Coco Waffles here. I have COVID right now, so please be L nice to me. I'm not gonna be nice to you, no. Milo. I'm, I'm not trying to be push nice. through to record this video because I think it's. I'm not gonna be nice, um, man. But... Chat. How many hours of game time do you have on Shinonuma? It's been a week. I have this many hours. This many hours. I've kept playing the game for so many years. This many like, hours. I thought that they just didn't get that. And thirdly, I thought that there was never going to be an opportunity. Dude, or... look how ugly the waff looks. Look, just look at this screenshot. It's just so gray, man. I don't get this, man. A release or anything that would mean that I would enjoy a zombie's product if it was under the Vanguard umbrella. I thought that I Vanguard said no and mega zombies low. experiences just meant I was going to have a bad time. Always. That is, this I'm is correct. I'm pretty confident that this I would put correct. Duran Fang and Terra Maledicta at the exact bottom of my tier list if I was to make it. True! Like, I don't think Me too! Any other zombies Chat, is this you? That's ever come out that I dislike as much as those two. And so it's a sh Chat, like, I will never play Terra Maledicta or the Shinonuma game mode. Ever. The only map I will have ever played on Vanguard is Duran Fong. And that's because we thought it was going to be a continuation of Cold War. Shock to me. Absolutely. The sadness. Shinonuma is not just the third one on that bottom rung of the tier list. Like, it's not. I mean, to me, it is. <laughs> that bad. It's definitely not. Chat, okay, if you actually have played Shinonuma, where would you rank it on a tier list? Like C, B, A, S? If you're S, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. Perfect. There are definitely I don't know. issues. For me, it's just the F. In comparison I haven't played to some it. of the things that we've had in the past, especially, it's really just not there yet. But it's a significant it's a improvement from Terra Maledicta. Like. It's a significant improvement from Duran Fang. And it does give me Durang a Fang. teeny tiny smidgen of hope. Which it's the is best version of Shinonuma, that I no doubt. Grasp really? And cling onto with all my oh, sure might about that? now that I have some. With this little inkling that maybe if the universe. Also, arises, chat, should we react to a speedrun world record of this? I have yet to see anything on how this Easter egg works. This just looks so boring to me. Health correctly, we can get to a couple of really solid maps, probably not in Vanguard. But in the future from Treyarch, then hell yeah, I'm going to chase that dream as hard this as I can. This looks so foul, And this actually man. reminds me of something that some people were saying when I made that video about the Super Easter Egg a few months ago. The, like, controversial sort of video. Because they were saying, like, well, if you don't like it, like, why, why does Milo have hair? Because he went to the L Because he went to LA once. The I'm a fan of zombies. Like, I have loved this for the past 12 Chad, do you guys think I'm a fan of zombies, yes or no? <laughs> and the reason I don't think I am, I bro. Make a video saying like this sucks. I don't think I'm a fan of zombies. To get voice. Better. It's not what Coachella does to MF. <laughs> it's because I'm assessing know, right? the fact that zombies has killed itself, and I'm saying True. Guys, this is broken. And Yo, I don't this like guy it. is spitting fan, right now. This is not the way. Not anymore since like, Vanguard. Like I loved Cold War. It's truly let go of your hate. I can't. Vanguard deserves all the hate that it gets. It's truly chat. I said this like not even thinking about zombies. I think Call of Duty Vanguard is the worst Call of Duty I've ever played, period. Just not even with zombies. I genuinely think it's the worst Call of Duty that's ever been created. I'm trying to share my own opinion about the games and simultaneously to sort of amplify some of your opinions about the game as well and just to generally to engage with Vanguard is just a punching bag. To acknowledge True. That so that when things get good again, I'm still paying attention and yes, and that's no, and, and that's a great point, chat. Things will thank the Lord get good again. We'll just always remember 2022 as the Vanguard year, and pe and the Vanguard memes will go we can away. Enjoy it together, and the it, it is true. In me, it literally that's will been a fan go away. For so long can enjoy the game again, and that fan. In so me, that's that's what makes me happy. It's, it's not gonna be forever. It's just a Shino bad Numa. dream. Chat, wake me up. There, I said wake it. me up inside. It's not the worst map in the world. And I think we've got to be careful here because Vanguard. Cod zombie YouTuber likes the map. He's selling out, chat. He's selling out to Milo selling Vanguard out just to play Shino Numa. But I do think it's the sort of thing that if you already own the game, or if there's a free Okay, weekend, seriously, like lads, lads in chat actually ask, answer me. If you have not bought in Call of Duty Vanguard, one in the chat, is there any human being that bought Call of Duty Vanguard to play Shinonuma? I can't think if, if that person actually exists, I'm going to be shocked.
weeks time, two weeks time, whatever. I think whatever, people only it played it because they already own the game. Just to remind yourself, I would be shocked. Liam? Oh, I think Liam the was the, actually that person. Mean. And no, you're if right. Devs watching this, you might think that I'm just being kind of rude for no reason here, but Duran Fang and Terra Maledicta completely made me feel like the devs had lost all sense of what was good about Zombies. Lads, I don't think Milo's being rude. I think he's just being upfront. Like, dude, this is a t like what a 12 year old map getting remastered in 2022. Milo's not over exaggerating here, bro. Because it's at over every twelve turn years old. In those maps, you are confronted and this with is supposed to be new content. Like, come on, man. Fundamentally, against the entire ethos of what was fun 14? in the past. Like, so I'm, literally. I'm not trying to be hyperbolic or rude when I say that. I'm simply stating the fact that. Like, I chat. Is this map? Is Shinonuma older than some people in chat? <laughs> I think it is, I really dude. Dislike those experiences. I literally I think, think it really is, bro. Shinonuma's older than some of the homies isn't. in chat, and there's bro. There's something to be said for the fact that it's round-based versus the old system of gameplay, whatever you would call that. And I think that that is a massive contributor to it. But it's also evident in, for example, the Easter egg design. The Terra Maledicta Easter egg is so embarrassing. It, it just really is. is. And it for really the record is. here. I'm it's worse than Die Rise's Easter egg, and that's what's the from, worst part about well, it. Well, of course, it's sort of like a smaller Easter egg or whatever. It's been developed on a newer engine, and they've got a small team, and blah, blah, blah. I'm ab abstracting from that right now, because at the end of the day, these are being marketed as zombies maps. True. So them True. Maps. Yes, and that's why it's fair, chat, because guess what? Duron Fong... How long was that trailer? I'm going to look at it. Chad, Duran Fong's trailer was like 15 minutes. Where was it? 14 minutes! Spans and explores the unsettling world. The I'm disliking this dark video. Ether. Professor Kraft's deep knowledge. Dude, they actually made 14 minutes of content out of actually nothing. Like, to think about that, it's insane, dude. It's, it's an embarrassing Chat, were they Twitch acting? Egg I think they were, boys. It's pretty damn good. It's clearly I don't even know suffering what it is, from man. budget and time constraints that Cold War didn't experience How to in sleep the same in 14 minutes, way. Boys. Obviously, True. that game had its share Chat. of challenges. That they should be my April COVID, Fool's like, video. Those things. But this is a different flavor of Restrained. But the egg itself is very Cold War but also does a few things that it almost feels like we wouldn't have had in Cold War that are a little bit more tricky, potentially, but that's a really good thing. I have thing. no For idea example, what he's talking there's about. A step chat, any, any... Okay, if you've played the Easter egg, rate it out of 10. I'm curious to hear what chat says, because I just don't in know. In this Easter egg, where you have to use the Wunderwaffe to zap these blue glowing zombies around an obelisk and charge it up. And it's not the Soul most straightforward thing gaming? to do in the world. Like, you could fail that, pretty easily in fact myself noah and chop were coordinating at a decently high round maybe 25 30 or so we were coordinating to try and do it round after round after round and we kept failing because you really have to do it right and that is a good thing i want to fail easter egg steps I want <laughs> enough like that is Absolutely a cod zombie YouTubers when you run through the content in under 24 hours. I want to fail. Give me more. <laughs> that didn't really even happen that much. I want Cold to War. fail. Like, Let Cold me War, fail. It's always pretty straightforward what you're doing, I would argue. There may be places here or there where that's not the case and it is sort of more of a challenge or it's more likely to be something that you could fail. Like, especially, for example, the outbreak Easter egg when you're in the silo. Like, it does get hairy there and that's a good thing. I but mean, I like the outbreak Easter egg. The Easter egg in Shinonuma is just a really, really good sign. Okay, lad, seriously, outbreaks Easter egg or Shinonumas? You so, tell me. I don't know. a cypher step. And oh, it's a no. cypher step that's actually <laughs> really easy. Like, it's not a, a cypher? dead of the oh, night, no. align the light. Dead of the night. Step. <laughs> Nor is it no, a, no, what was no. it, infinite warfare zombies do the twisty wall thing step. Nor is it a World War II zombies figure out the statues thing, which I very vaguely uh, remember right now. I can't even no. remember if that was a logic puzzle or not, but I think it was. It's not a puzzle of that description, I which dislike I would love those to come back at some point World by the way, Treyarch. To be but it does require you to critically think for like the first time I actually see a lot game. of Shinonuma in chat. That's why I'm shocked. There's been another point in Vanguard Zombies where I've got to an Easter egg step and gone, hmm, how do I solve this? Like, <laughs> how do I think that I 
have had in months. And it's also implemented I mean, really that's well kind of because funny. it doesn't require you to How do, do the homework going mm. into the map or the egg in order to complete it. It's something that you can brute force after getting only two symbols really easily as well if you want. So you've kind of got options for how you choose to solve the puzzle and doing the actual translation in order to solve it is very straightforward after you've done it the first time. But the first time takes a little bit of brain power. That is the perfect Easter egg step. When you've got something that the first time round is- Chat, after playing COD Zombies for almost 10 years, how much brain power do you have left? Did you know the pause is for two hours only? I did, and that's disgusting. I have probably 2% brain power left. A really so I, I, I can't kind of use mind it anymore. bender, and then you figure it out. And once you know how the magician does his trick, you can kind of work backwards almost to just solve it every time without having to consult like an entire database of different bits and pieces here and there. Database. Do a lot of stuff outside the game in order to out in the game Cranorium. every time you want to replay a map. Click so the Cranorium. Again, thumbs up. The general kind of gameplay loop in Vanguard Zombie. The general kind of gameplay loop oh. is the general kind of gameplay loop <laughs> is also significantly improved compared to No, the YouTubers be like multiple people that yeah, I follow, like friends of mine. The general kind of gameplay or people the in general kind of chats you can like that saying the craziest thing is happening to them know, because they're about about jumping about. into Shinonuma and they don't feel like they only want to just do and then get off. Like there are people out there that are jumping into the map and just shooting zombies because shooting zombies is fun. And shooting zombies being fun is no the way. origin of the mode. That's exactly why we started playing it in the first place. It. And the fact that that is happening in Vanguard is mind blowing to me, no but again, way. is an incredibly positive huh? sign. However, there is still loads of stuff that sort of sucks. And I think actually one of the biggest issues with this entire game is the way it's been marketed. And I think I'm probably gonna do a Amen. second video about literally, this at some yes. point because I just need to- I like, mean, dude, literally just- steam, No, literally honest. somebody needs to go back and just roast the Duran Fong trailer. Cause it's like, you watch that back and it's like 99% of what they talk about literally just doesn't exist. I genuinely wonder who decided to market it like that because that was so foul, man. And like, I think Shinonuma definitely got better marketing, but dude, Duran Fong's marketing was disgusting About they should be ashamed topic, of themselves for that the marketing for vanguard zombies has hurt it in the same way that the marketing for halo 5 hurt that game true i love halo 5 the Yo, vast this majority spin. of earth's population would argue with me that actually it's just objectively a bad game and that yeah there it's just misleading trailers but my and all view that. on it is that having gone in without seeing any of the marketing it's a pretty good product. It's just that you need to evaluate it based on what that product is instead of based on what you were told it is. Exactly. And that exactly. To reality. With See, like, chat, I think Vanguard could be a good game at the end of its life cycle. But here's the other thing. How many maps are they going to even add into this game now? Apparently, there's going to be one more map at least, and it could be Egypt. But I'm just like, why? Vanguard Zombies. Like, who's asking? We went in thinking that it I was really be hope a that's the last map. To Cold I really War. don't want any more maps. We had the covenant system and all their stuff described to us in such a way that made it sound like they'd taken the zombies experience and gone, "All right, <coughs> let's make an equivalent thing. It's not the same, but let's make an equivalent one that will, for lack of a better term here, hold people's interest." Oh my gosh, Decade Kraken just made such a great point. If they're going to Egypt, Chat, they're 100% bringing back chaos. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you're so right, dude. They're literally going to do that. That's going to be so garbage. That's literally how they're going to finish. Chat, if the chaos storyline gets concluded in Call of Duty Vanguard, I'm actually going to think that's the worst thing that Treyarch has ever done. Period. That will legitimately be so foul. Because they already went against Jason Bundell's words. And I have to make a commentary about this. People are like, people are bringing back clips of me and they're saying, oh yeah, Chaos and Ether will never mix. They were never supposed to. It's Jason Bundell's story, you idiots. Like literally, chat, it's, this is literally just Activision trying to siphon up as many people as they can from the Chaos storyline. And honestly, I think it's kind of a good play from them. 
to be honest, because there are a lot of people that like chaos, and now they get a continuation with it with Vanguard. Do I care? No. And honestly, I think you're so right. I think the next map is going to be chaos. Chat, one of the chat if you think so as, as well. As well as any other zombies. It's going to be chaos. Do. I, I, I'm, obvious, I'm honestly, though, I think that's going to be true. Played Vanguard zombies. That's going to happen. Not what we were getting. We were getting so a much foul, smaller man. team's efforts, first of all. It's going to be chaos, bro. I literally, I feel it, there dude. There is no reason why that shouldn't still mean we get complete, perfect, AAA, polished zombies experience. That I we cannot might be used believe to. that, because dude. Because all of the marketing... Chat, I can tell you this right now. Jason Mundell, I was going to say, is rolling in his grave like he's dead. <laughs> No, he just probably doesn't even care about the chaos storyline. He's doing his own thing at Deviation Chat. Like, he just doesn't care. He's probably just like, LOL. <laughs> that intro cutscene trailer thing with the court effects and just the Jason Modell's deviating, so now Treyarch has to as well. Set everyone up in such a way that we really thought Vanguard Zombies was going to be five times bigger than it actually is. And I'm not saying that in terms of space. I'm saying that in terms of developer Just time investment. Anything. I'm saying that with in terms literally of fan anything. service. I'm saying that in terms of things that we as a community in our own ways of playing the game, because all of us play the game differently, time. but as a community, you know, we'd be able to tap life. into as <laughs> the sandbox knife. of the experience, the sandbox of the mode, but it just wasn't there. And then Terra Maledicta came out and basically the same was true. And then that super Easter egg came out. And again, it's like, Jesus Christ, you are so unbelievably bad at marketing this product because you're constantly telling us that it's he's spitting. So he's spitting, man. Can you imagine how different things would the have been? The crosshair looks so weird too. I agree. For Vanguard zombies, if we'd gone into it with Treyarch having initially said, or sorry, let me be clear. I think this is Smash or pass, problem. Milo. Chat. If Activision chat had allowed Smash or pass, Treyarch to chat. say or had themselves said. This is a scale down say hard zombies smash, experience hard smash, that is hard intended smash. to give you a flavor of some of the things that Treyarch are working on at greater scale for future Call of Duty releases, but this is just a starter to your later main course. If they had said this is incomparable to any other zombies experiences because this is intended to be an My thing is though, chat, what were they even thinking releasing Duron Fong? Because the idea of Duron Fong was to say that Outbreak was a massive success and so that they want to reproduce that in a smaller environment. And that was their thinking and their process behind it and literally nobody agrees. And then they did it again with Terra Maledicta and then they realized, wow, literally not a soul likes this. And then now they went back to round base and it's just too late now. It's literally just too late. Dude, it's July. Modern Warfare 2 comes out in literally under... It, 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 under three months experience like, that you play I don't even get once it, or dude. twice and then you don't necessarily come back to in the same way that you would with other modes if they had basically set expectations where they should have been from the very exactly. beginning exactly saying exactly yes we've got these new dark ether gods in it and yes court effects looks really cool and yes here's a cinematic trailer and stuff but this has also been in development for a much shorter amount of time with a much smaller team and it's a team supporting someone else's engine if they'd said all of that from the beginning before the game had come out I reckon True, our day this point or just release zombies like the exo zombies dlc where literally the first map you didn't get until dlc one bro it's it's literally you can tell that treyarch effed up with this game chat one of the chat if you agree with me you can tell that they effed up because they really thought they would have hit a home run with duran fong they really did that's why that trailer is 14 minutes 100 percent and it makes sense that this game now is just trying to fumble or just siphon as many players as possible. And they can just, you know, end the chaos storyline with it and just say, let's move on. So honestly, if it is going to end the chaos storyline, even if it's a garbage ending, at least it had some sort of a point. Experience would have been significant. Whose fault was it different. in reality, though? Probably Activision. It still would have sucked. Probably would have Activision. Would have look at that and go, okay. I see that this is just the beginning. But then again, we don't really know because it's like maybe Call of Duty Vanguard like was the devs' attempt to be like, "Yo, we don't give a damn about round based." But it's just like chat. Why is Treyarch getting tired of round based? There's so many different maps and different ideas you can do. Duran Fong was not the play, boys.
something. This isn't something that I'm going into having thought, oh, well, it's being marketed as a full zombies experience, so I'm going to enjoy it as such. Right? And I think all of us would have been able to basically say, all right, well, we don't feel like we were... <laughs> also, chat, will there ever be a modern COD zombies game where the shotgun isn't the best gun in the game? Cold War and Vanguard are now culprits of this. I just can't wait till COD 2024 and see everyone run a shotgun in the game, Sold bro. on this, so I don't detest it nearly as much. Like, it's Deal that launcher, dissonance true. that I think was honestly the straw that broke the camel's back for Duran for Vanguard. No, just for Vanguard, 100%. And yeah. weirdly, Shino Numa doesn't do much better in the marketing department. I think they've actually marketed it terribly but there are one or two things that are improved i think it's at least better than duran fong where it isn't lies one of the chat view agree with that it isn't just lies or oh look at the zombies on the sight lines and the <laughs> like at least they're not lying man at least it's not like cold war super easter egg yo we got seven hundred five thousand rewards and then all it is is a purple upgrade weapon rarity tier thing like okay Movements, which are good things. For example, the fact that I went into this thinking that the Easter egg was going to be a Terra Maledicta level quest, and actually it was significantly better. True, it was true. actually fun. It it's was, got some challenge to from it. From what I'm it seeing, it's at least requirement for some attention sort of and intelligence and logic, and it then gives you. Dude, are they building the Sentinel artifact in this chat? Are you lying to me? Chat, was that the Sentinel artifact? No. Reasonable rewards at the end. Like, those are all pluses. But still, overall, marketing is being done so- Chat, this next map is chaos. That's all this game is for. This this game is ending chaos. 110%. I mean, honestly, fair play to them. I think that was probably the best thing they could have done with this game. To be honest. If they're ending chaos- Oh, so badly by Activision fair play. at this point. But it's zombies. not authentic. It's it not. Really it's an inauthentic ending, down. no matter what you a say. The big problem with Shinonuma, actually, is that people just didn't know it was even coming out. Like, obviously, all of the really tuned-in folks in the Zombies community, like, the folks that, if I upload a video, nine times out of ten, you're this gonna watch it. Artifact. And you're also gonna watch Look all the videos this. from what Pizza, the and from Noah, and from Lex, and, like, you watch everything, right? There's no way it's chaos, 100% of it is, on the dude. way. But there's a huge number of casual fans who still tune into the content when there's, like, big stuff going on who didn't even know this map was on the way. Like, I saw people asking where... Chat, the did... One in the chat, if you didn't know that this map was coming on the way, two of the chat, if you did. I feel like most of my chat is probably going to be two, but maybe I'll be wrong. Trailer I don't know. was for Shino Numa, and I had to point them towards this 22 second video that Call of Duty uploaded, of which about half. Couple is ones though, just, like, which is really cards. sad. It's not even gameplay. And after 24 Couple hours, ones, it had though. what, like 50k views or something? It got no views, that video. It's probably on more now, but it's still tiny because they True. just didn't push it out. Like, people were not really amped up for this at all. Wait, wait, chat. I want to see this. Is it on Call of Duty's channel? Let's see. Bruh, okay, well, it's at 150k views, that's not bad, but I mean, it's not like Treyarch level. Dude, I mean, look at the like to dislike, and this is what dislikes turned off, fam. Wow. This is what dislikes turned off, I can only see because I have a plugin. Wow. What are people saying recently? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, I see. I agree. Part I agree that's too. Fair enough, because they were just sort of burned from Terra Maledicta and from Duranfang, and so why True. market something from Activision's point of view that you know people are going to dislike? But when you've got something good. I mean, it's fair. You should be marketing fair. that. Thank you, know, you Shinonuma yeah. is good. Also, I'll talk it's about this good. in another video, but for now, I think that the decision to involve the chaos story here is really interesting. Uh, it kind of flies in the face of what they've said in the past. But it's chat one in the chat if I'm right and legitimately the next map is going to be the end of chaos Dude, I would not be chat. Imagine if you spawned in as the chaos crew. I would literally cry. They're gonna do it Or they're gonna add the operators, bro it's like They're gonna add the operators you bro. involve content like that and instantly Oh you see people in comment gosh. sections They're and in stream chats, gonna do cetera, that. social media, They're wherever, gonna do that, saying, bro. you know what, I'm kind of interested in how this is going to go. Like, 
I'm really curious about why this is here. I might have an idea. I'm more just interested to see how the like train wreck is going to go down. Type out a quick little theory in their stream chat or something. JC Let's see what the streamer again. thinks of it. And those Literally. are things which, through Cold War, there was almost no incentive to do. Like the Cold War story is so painfully telegraphed and just generally executed, I think, in a really bad way, which is unfortunate because True. I think the I agree. certain Intel, things in the Cold War story are great. And I think that there is room to really enjoy that story. I picked up I all 456 Intel and Outbreak is rule. so poor in so many cases and so subpar compared to some of the stuff that we've had in the past. And again, Shinonuma suffers from that. Like some of the voice acting in this map is like some of the worst I've potentially ever heard <laughs> oh, in COD. No. It's embarrassingly bad. And again, oh, you've got the flip no. side caveats to everything here. They recorded a bunch no. of this, I'm sure, with pandemic issues going on around the world. They probably weren't able to get in the same studio together. They were probably having voice actors I mean, recording true. stuff at home in their true. cupboards. Like, that is the in thing their that the video game industry is dealing no. with. I appreciate that. <laughs> and I understand that. No, But when you're marketing man. something as the same as everything else that's not been under those constraints... And when you show no kind of like self-awareness about the situation, the and you're just like, time. well, I'm Shoot Call of Duty and I'm great, right? But then I don't lads. For any of y'all that have played it, could you agree? I, I don't know, acting, to be honest. Is that poor? It's like, is this, is this like a parody at this point? It's just not, it's just not good. And again, I'm sorry to the voice actors involved cap. on those. I don't know if it's the direction is just not in the right place. Thank God for custom the, map makers. The True. writing that you're being given, the stuff that you actually have to read. I mean, I also about, just think the writing is, is not, very good. Like, not I don't that know interesting exactly in this game. Where in the cooking of the pie it's going wrong, but it's True. really going wrong right now, and I'd love to see that improved in future zombies maps from Treyarch because some of the old Treyarch the same perks voice seven acting, times. radios Let's and go, announcers bro. and character quotes and stuff some of the older stuff some of my favorite voice acting in video games i'll ever, shove that mirror up ever. your dark ether so real quote, are you serious to there, are you serious is that a real quote oh that's a l is why that's i'm like oh l. man this is weak but it, so it, but it could foul. improve we'll see i also think the whole appealing to casuals only isn't helping also i talked True. about this on stream with, Noah and with Chop. actually yes Appealing to casuals is not it because dude, I'm gonna say it when you appeal to the warzone audience You're probably appealing to the IQ of about a four-year-old and I'm not even joking when I say that It's literally like I like the balance of the casual stuff in Cold War But we need more of the black ops 3 complexities in these games, man. I agree. I fully agree with that. And with uh, a couple of other folks as well in my it stream It was chat. good during, during Cold War because Cold War had a great balance of it. But Vanguard is literally just like the only... Like, chat, you know who played Vanguard? Shinonuma? Before me? Jev, because he's MP guy. I'm not, I'm not bashing on him. I'm just saying, dude, as of right now, Zombies is more accessible to the multiplayer audience than the Zombies audience, which makes no sense to me. That makes no we sense to about me. It. I think that, in general, the core sort of 30-second gameplay loop of Vanguard Zombies just isn't fun. And a lot of that is just I also to do agree with that too. the engine the and the way that they've suck written it all game. out in the scripting and stuff like that right now. The AI, the way it works, it's just, et cetera. It's but like, there are things in there that, in my opinion, could quite easily be tweaked and that I do think would significantly improve the experience so for example Dude, when you get, hit, artifact. you get hit a single time Bruh. by a zombie which happens far more often than i think it should like chop said this really well there's far too much unearned damage yes. in Vanguard Zombies. Yes. And not just the guys that no, and that's that that was a problem even in Cold War, dude. There's so I and that is something I want to move away from from the Modern Warfare zombie system. Because in BL3 or BL2 or BL1, you get a hit, you earn that hit. That that hit that you got was earned. But it's like when you have homies that shoot at you and you just take all this peripheral damage and they're just like, hey, the solution is armor. It's not right, man. It's an L. I, I think they should revert back. Unearned in my view. And points I've for kills is stupid. I agree. Zombies. I don't Being like the Cold War points system. So. Zombies instantly makes me detest the experience. I agree. I don't mind fully, if it's a parachute. Fully, yes. Parasite, sorry. Shooting a little yep. buggy ball at me or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because the damage is negligible. It's, it's so small. If it's a man small. with a gun, uh-uh. 
Yeah, Get I agree. Get it out of the game. I agree. Misunderstanding I agree. of what fun is True. or isn't in zombies. True. Misunderstanding. True. But it's not even that that's the issue, really. It's the fact that you could be running directly past a zombie, not even that close to it, and just be hit. And you're just like, oh. The only thing, chat, that should ever shoot you in COD Zombies is a final boss. Like Garod Crovey's Nikolai boss. Or, like, the dragon or something. That is the only time you should ever be shot at. You're, it should never be a mini boss, and it should never be a, a casual enemy. Period. That is way too OP. I'm weak now. That's really annoying. But specifically, when that happens, the sheer volume of jelly. It's just on about your having reactable moves. Exactly. Insane. Like, chat, I like the parasite shooting at you because, chat, you know how many times you have to die? to like from those parasite shots you need like 25 time. bullets you know, from those time. parasites to take you out like with jug it's ridiculous it's so much and if you have like the god mask on revelations i don't even think you could ever die man because you just regen the health so i'm saying like yeah megaton is a perfect example it can be one shot one shot of something that's fine but when it's like a death machine and these homies are just like and you literally you have to like seek cover in the game before you die that's an l that sucks the game is already grayish red it's a disgusting color palette like i absolutely detest the way the game looks personally i mean i agree so when you i take gray red Chat, do you guys like this look for shinonuma dude there's no green shinonuma chat when you look at the chronicles version it's the greenest map of all time there's there's actually no color in this map, bro. Brown that isn't even committed enough to be brown. It's just like a red gray. I can describe it no other way. I agree. And then you I lay on I don't top think I'm a that, fan. Some jelly. Ugh. No, it's I agree. Just, it's I just it's just awful. It just looks so bad. And it's a dark map anyway. Yeah. Which I'm not a huge fan of. I, don't I agree. Really like dark Chat, maps. I'm saying this. I'm going to say this right now. And I've said this for like five years. I detest zombie maps that are dark. Dark and gritty is the biggest L in zombies. I do not care about being jump scared in a zombies game, bro. It's literally all about color, dude. That is why Chronicles have so much amazing color in these maps, man. Vrucht is like a bright red. Shinonuma is a bright green. Reese is like a bright blue. I died in this cutscene, Greg. Oh my goodness. In this four image slideshow, they got me crying. In general, I prefer when they're pretty well lit, but that's just a stylistic choice. The crap on the screen when I get hit is a stylistic choice that is just bad. So that makes the 30 second loop annoying. Then you're constantly getting hit in unearned ways, so your armor is constantly depleting. Yeah. And that's no, and annoying. I, I don't you like that system. You salvage really slowly. So the salvage kind uh, of power curve that we had in Cold War that I think Kevin Drew was the sort of master. No, I love the salvage in Cold War. Really it was on, great. It's now pretty much dysfunctional. Like yeah, it, it doesn't even work in this game. Unfun. You're constantly needing to buy armor, which means you pretty much never get to tear Chat, armor even, or even BO4 had great color in its maps. Nine was like one of the first zombie maps next to Shang that was like a really bright yellow. Um, Dead of the Night even has better colors, and it's dark. Dead of the Night has a lot of bright blues and bright greens um, and yellows. Uh, what else? Ancient Evil is like super red. Not red. It's more like, it's like a porcelain white, that map. Classified? Yeah, dude. Not easily. You never feel powerful. You always feel like this frail, weak, dirty, kind of like smudged up player who can't really do that great damage to the zombies around them unless they're using the same old shotgun that everyone else is True. using. True. And even then, it's just like... There's no meta in this game. It's not like Cold in War, the man. the previous zombies' experiences have been... Yeah, at least Cold, Cold War had a meta. One of the most fun zombies' experiences to just shoot heads True. in True. to date. And yeah, I agree. entirely lost in this mode, in my opinion. Yeah. But I want to be clear here and remind you of what I said a second ago. Some folks are really enjoying that 30-second loop. Some folks are... Mod check chat. Where? <laughs> Where are they?
Where did they go? Finding that they are potentially interested in going for a high round here, or just sort of playing for fun. Like, my personal Where opinion of this go? is not the be-all, end-all. There are other viewpoints here. I just think that the 30-second kind of core cool gameplay loop is ass and doesn't make me want to return to the game at all. That's not Shinonuma's fault, though. That's just Vanguard Zombies being Vanguard Zombies. Now, one thing I've seen a lot of complaints about, a lot of people say, Treyarch, what were you thinking? This is awful, but that I actually don't mind at all, weirdly, is the end cutscene. The end cutscene is, I think, six, maybe seven, six images that they play for you in two separate chunks as a slideshow. It's to be honest, I just don't care. And I'm 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 more happy in this game that it's six images strung together because if they would have put more effort into that on a Vanguard cutscene, I would be a little bit sad, to be quite honest. So I don't care about it for Vanguard, but for future games, dude. I mean, I would rather them just put the MP4 back in the files like they did for Black Ops 1 and stuff. Or Black Ops... Was it Black Ops 1 or 2? I can't remember. I'd rather them do that and just people data mine it and figure it out than having to do all the unnecessary crazy stuff that they did in BL3 and 4. But like, yeah. Exfil cutscene was better. I mean, I agree, dude. Literally a PowerPoint presentation. And I'm not talking like Alpha Omega end cutscene kind of level of sort of flowing animation-y thing. Uh-uh. No, it's literal still images. And there's only five or six frames of them. And I've seen people in comments saying, this is proof that Treyarch have lost the plot. This is proof that they don't care. I mean, it's proof that they know that Call of Duty Vanguard is not going to be played by a lot of people. So I Things think like that's that. fair. And I think that it's important to say, number one, Treyarch do care. Like the devs. I think there, it's honestly them realizing the that they're doing that goes for any. Studio. I think it's a smart move. I don't think it's to a be lack honest. Of care, so that's why I don't care. Is what you're trying to sort of nail down in your. I don't really care there. about it either. What you're trying to nail I mean, down is is the feeling is your feeling. I think that they've misdirected their efforts and their energy, and they've given you something that they think is sufficient to quench your thirst for content, whereas actually it's not even close. And so you're like, it's not even close. They must not care. They must not be trying. Do you know what I mean? I went into Shinonuma thinking we weren't going to get an end cutscene. I mean, exactly. I it going to end. Exactly. And that was going to be that. And I, also I honestly didn't even think that the Easter egg would have even been good. So I honestly, from what I'm seeing, Shinonuma has been above my very, very low expectations. But also, it's just like, dude, like, I don't even know why people are complaining and expecting a story from Vanguard when the first two maps on this game you got were Duron Fong and Terra Maledicta. Like, chat, you know it's bad when me, as a Zombies YouTuber, I've been doing this for almost a decade now, and I refuse to play this game. Like, that's how you know you failed, dude. You can't even get the people that cover this game to play it, man. I thought that the egg was going to be significantly worse than it was. And the fact that there's as much audio as there is, and there's little kind of quick timey moments. I mean, exactly. Dude. You've got the ball floating around, for instance. You've got that nice little scene with that floating around. You've got other bits where stuff's sort of talking to you as you do things. You've got a reasonable boss fight. Like, it's totally reasonable. All those things are surprises to me beyond my baseline level of, I thought it was going to be utter trash. And true, so, true. They're a thumbs up. And then you get an end cutscene that is five sort of slides. And again, it's like, I look at it and I compare it to anything else we've had in the past. Compare it, for example, to the Outbreak Easter Egg. In the Outbreak Easter Egg, there's like two or three separate little mini cutscenes that are in there that are all in engine and they're great. And it's true. Awesome. Like Ravenoff yeah. actually beats people up. It's so cool. And in this, we got a slideshow. But I don't care. Because in this instance, I mean, yeah, I think people like care is the are least very strange of my to me. It is the least of my worries. Like, why are you complaining Everything about Call of Duty Vanguard being good when you worries. know it's bad? And if we don't have end cutscenes for the next zombies map as well, like if there's literally nothing and the game just like ends, chat, people don't make sense to me. It's like, would you rather have a seven photo present like PowerPoint presentation cutscene in Vanguard? Like, in order for the next game to have amazing cutscenes? Or would you rather have amazing cutscenes on Vanguard for the next game to have garbage cutscenes? Like, people just don't think about that, you know?
It doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to sit here and be like, that's ridiculous. It's when the other parts of the experience are not absolutely awful that I think it's valid to then be like, okay, this purely sort of cosmetic extra thing that they may have had time to develop or may not have done in this case, that's something that is worth kind of like spending energy on critically assessing. Like, I don't think a bad end cutscene is a reason not to play Shinonuma. Because what Shinonuma does right is not its end cutscene. It's the fact that it subverts your expectations of it being totally- It actually got homies to play zombies in 2022. Even just one or two. So, bad. I mean, that's just something, dude. Flat out bad. That is legitimately ends up being something. perfectly playable. I also yeah. have to give them props for, like, that rampage inducer little Easter egg thing in the spawn. That's good. That is good. More of that. Please. And we do not know what you're talking about. For, like, <laughs> this poster on the wall. More of oh, that, that looks please. really cool. And maybe some of it that's a little bit less obvious. That would be really appreciated. But again, I get that like, they're trying to make the Cold experience War? pretty kind oh. of easy to read for a newer player, etc. Like, so, are you like, talking? I don't, I don't, I don't know what he's talking about, to be honest. Fact, I don't understand. With all of this said, said, no, no, I know Rampage inducers in Cold War, but did they put like an Easter egg in Vanguard to it? In the last 24, 48 hours. I mean, and that something. I keep coming back to is why on earth didn't they just start Vanguard Zombies with something like this? I mean, it was in the game at launch. Like, they literally True. in the game in Taranfang. Remember when Call of Duty Vanguard we thought was going to be the continuation of Cold War? You would have had 10 perks. They would have just kept adding more perks. It's wild, chat, because it's almost like the same problem with BO4. It's literally almost the same problem with BO4, chat. They make a really good game. And they just don't continue it. That's all BO4 needed to be. Same thing with Vanguard. Cold War, it could have just been Cold War 2. That's all it needed to be, man. It's foul. Because you teleport to it. So it's there. And it just would have made so much more sense to me if that is what they used as the sort of central focal point of the experience and all the other teleporty weird stuff could have been experiments later down the line. Like, I agree. Like, why Why did they waste so much time, dude? They wasted, like, literally, ha like, over half this game's life on nothing, basically. It's safer, surely, For no in a reason. year where you're completely time crunched and you're going to struggle to develop on the engine anyway, No. Maybe it was just a time thing. Maybe they couldn't build out the systems they needed for round I think it's they also just bad direction it, from Activision. But they could build out not understanding the sort of round based what thing zombie community that players they never want, made ever. before that would surely have required completely proprietary new code as opposed to being able to reuse absolutely anything from the exactly, past. Exactly, Or at least understanding and knowledge of the design decisions in the past that worked. Like, not talking about implementation, just talking about the ideas themselves that were good ideas and those that weren't like you had a playbook do to we even by. know what we want chat the thing is though is like i'll tell you this we knew we know what we don't want and i can tell you that nobody after cold war was like i want an outbreak version that's smaller because that just fully defeats the point of outbreak even if you're an outbreak lover nobody asked for that like, Treyarch always does stuff that, quite literally, man, nobody asks for. All the time. So that's why I'm just like, I don't... I... I don't know. But we do not you know. You went with this weird thing that is just... bad. I don't get it. I don't get what Treyarch were thinking, to be honest. Because I'm convinced True. the devs know Doranfang isn't good. I'm convinced of it. Because I'm, no yeah. game designer... No single game designer on the planet can honestly play through the last 10 years of zombies, right? Can have that kind of cultural understanding and then can jump into Anfang and go, oh yeah, this is better. Or, oh yeah, this is better. <laughs> I or, know, oh, yeah, right? I want to play this over and over again. I no know. game designer is going to do that. So they get it. They just went in this weird chat are we the play testers one in chat if you think so. And then they marketed it 100% we're the be the play testers boys. The sardines whiskers. The Sardines the Whiskers, one. boys. Yeah. She Let's flies go. In the face of that. It's worth trying if you have Vanguard already. I would highly recommend you do not buy the game to play Shinonuma. The only recommendation I'm ever going to make I would, you to just tell you Vanguard never to buy is it. if the Don't next map that comes along after Shinonuma nope. is 
a top 10 map of all time, which is not going to happen. <laughs> Van Gogh I love how he's like, if it is going to be a top 10 map, it's just never going to happen. <laughs> Like, chat, that's what I'm telling you. Like, you know the next map is just going to be filler until COD 2023, 2024. And I also said, I think it's a mistake that this map even came out because you know what it means? It means that there are people working on this, wasting their time when they could be working on a product that people will actually play. God, it doesn't make any sense, It's cursed, and it's only worth buying if you're going to spend 10, 15 bucks on it tops because you're then going to get... Two zombies True. maps, two round based maps, Shinonuma and Egypt. And those will be passable. And spending 15 bucks on those two passable maps is valid. That's fair mm. enough in my view. Any it really isn't because you can buy IW for like 20 bucks and it's like so much more better. You know? More money than that, I think you're getting bumped. Like it's, it's a ripoff. I buy agree. the game maybe second hand from a physical reseller. Like that might be a quite a good way to get access to it for really cheap. But for the love of God, like, don't pay 50 bucks for this game. See, <laughs> uh -uh. $50 experience, we're also baby. Getting, like, some kind of free-to-play zombies thing. So you'll be able to check that out for free, too, which is quite exciting. I'll have more content on that coming as we hear more about it. But for True. now, if you do own Vanguard, yes, it's worth re-downloading. Free-to-play 2023 gamers? I say so, to boys. Give it a try I say so. Twice, get that Easter egg done. Build the Wunderwaffe. Go for round 30. Goodbye, just, just go Mr. Dowling JD. One single time. Mr. Delac, man. Like, try Shinuma. Nope. Of the next map to come out I will when that not. map comes out in, let's say, three months no time. No mega lol. Like, that's totally valid. You will I like just it. I want people to give this. I mean, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this gameplay, and I'm literally like, wow, I would just not enjoy this. And if it's not for you, by the way, valid as well. Because it's Vanguard. I get it. I just want people like yourself. To have the same experience that I did jumping into this map and going, oh, not all hope is lost. It's only most hope. <laughs> that is a step that I think we need to welcome. And what does that even up. mean, Milo? What does that even blindly, mean, like, dude? I hate Vanguard in all its entirety. <laughs> what does that even so mean? I'm not going to go anywhere near it. I totally understand that's, Lex's point of view where he was saying so we should funny. just boycott it. I totally get that. Yes. Because why are devs wasting their time on this mode, dude? It doesn't make any sense, dude. Why? Why are they wasting their time? Like, chat, genuinely? Okay, genuinely. How many th people do you think have played this? I am actually going to say one of the lowest numbers I think I will ever say for a COD Zombies map. Under 10,000. Under 10,000 people have played this. 100%. I will refuse to believe that there are more than 10,000 people that have played this. Actually. And there is a totally valid argument there, 100%. But in this instance, I think that Shinonuma deserves to at least be looked at. It deserves to be considered. So jump in. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're just as mystified as I am as to what- The reason why I will never play this shot is just because I'm t I'm tired of, like, accepting mediocrity as well from, from Treyarch. Where I'm just like, dude, I'm just not even going to give this a chance. I'm just going to say it's garbage, and that's it. Because it, it is what it is. 